Yo people, welcome back to the road to 300 pounds, day 19. This is the first day after eating to maintenance where I had some cake and things and weighing 327.6, 148 kg. I'll talk to you in a sec. Hello everybody, hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. Why? Because I've had more food and some sweet treats and feeling good mentally from having a couple days off of the steep calorie deficit that we have been in. But has it been perfect? Absolutely no. Why? Because I didn't really plan it out. It was kind of spur of the moment, the, these maintenance days. So if you're not aware what the maintenance day is, it's eating at maintenance calories. For me right now, my maintenance weight is, well, maintenance calories are 3,000. To maintain my weight, I need to eat 3,000 calories a day. So that was my aim over the past couple of days, but it was very spur of the moment without planning and preparation due to it being my, my granddad's birthday. And I wasn't in charge of the food, obviously. Was in charge of making smarter, more informed decisions while still enjoying certain foods, absolutely but the calories and whatever I wasn't in charge of and I didn't hit the 3,000 calories. Why? Because eating proper food, even though I did have some cake and other things too, because it's a birthday. So that obviously is an event in itself. That's a bit different to me planning my own food or whatever. Had an absolutely amazing time, by the way, catching up with family. My cousin's pregnant, my sister's pregnant, and then my granddad's birthday. You know, it's life life man the human experience absolutely amazing and of course catching up with everyone and seeing everyone and we'll hopefully be seeing everyone very soon in christmas too so looking forward to that that was amazing in that regard in regards to the plan going forward then the, these maintenance days they didn't have to be perfect to be honest so ideally i wanted to hit the 3,000 calories so that was yesterday my granddad's birthday and then today i've had another maintenance day eating 3,000 calories how are eaten 3,000 calories no i have not why? Because I didn't really plan stuff out and I didn't have it all prepared. So that is my own fault. That doesn't mean it's a, not, a, a loss and hasn't gone to plan because more of these days, the, having these days were more for a mental break. Being in a, an extreme steep calorie deficit for a couple of weeks, obviously we pulled off a lot of weight and now having these just two days off, mental release while still, again, this is an excuse to overeat, rationalize overeating, binge eating, making poor choices. We still got protein goals that we want to hit. We still want to put an emphasis as much as we can on high protein and whole foods like I did today. For the most part, still did enjoy some treats I haven't had for a couple of weeks for sure. But that, that was the plan. That, that was the reason why I've implemented these when I have. Didn't plan them out. Enjoyed them for what they were. So yesterday I had some sausages, some pasta. I did have a bit of bread. Obviously some cake within reason. Nothing crazy. And yes... This is important, having the cake, because people are going, you're on a weight loss journey, you shouldn't have cake, you shouldn't have cake, yada, yada, yada. I'll tell you why it's important, and it can be a win, and especially for that long, long, sustainable, long-term weight loss. Long, 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 sustainable term, weight loss, long-term weight loss. See, too many words confusing myself here. Having the cake and moving on with your life is a lot better for me personally than digging through going, I can't have it, I can't have it, I can't have it, I can't have it. And then it comes to a day where you crack or something or you've dug yourself into the ground, you crack and then you can't stop. So looking around the room, everyone's at a healthy weight, everyone's in shape, everyone had some cake. So it'll be a bit weird if the fat guy doesn't have cake because he's locked into something. That's not living as a normal person. We're talking about the sustainable habits. So for the long term, sustainable, what you do, you have the cake and you act in some discipline with it and not go crazy. For me personally, I know these experiences would add up if I don't include things that I go off the rails then when I finally do. That's what I've been getting away from since the start of the channel in March. And that's why I haven't regained the weight or binge ate or any of that. It's not to say maybe sometimes I have overeaten, maybe. And I've definitely enjoyed myself throughout this time. But I haven't been in those vicious cycles that see me lose weight very nicely and regain it all. Somebody's going to go, you're just rationalizing having some cake. Absolutely have just then. But hopefully if you've struggled with these things in the past, you understand what I'm saying and the importance of it. It sounds a bit crazy putting all this emphasis in the cake and I definitely don't overthink it this much. But I hopefully you understand what I mean with that. So yeah that was all good um obviously weighed in a bit heavier today i did eat late yesterday as well after well when we got home ate around half seven and normally my food's done around 4 p.m so having food at half seven getting my protein up is obviously uh going to impact the scale just from being later time between last meal and bed 
and then getting on the scale is obviously reduced as opposed to four, 730. That explains itself. So heavier today. Likely going to be heavier tomorrow as well because what did I eat today? Did I hit the 3,000 calories? No, I didn't. But did I eat later as well? Yes. So I had one big meal. I've got, you'll see the calories on screen. I can't remember them off the top of my head. So I did have this big meal. I'm into big meals. Always kind of have been. I'd rather eat two two to yeah two meals i'd rather have two big meals than like four spread out throughout the day like big meals even when i was leaner fit and healthy like big meals i like to feel full just is what it is i know some people like to kind of feel light throughout the day or grazing i'd rather not eat and then eat big meal say big meal one more time so today guess what i had a big meal and it was uh my my own homemade um chicken strips basically just breaded chicken get some breadcrumbs get chicken slice it up dump it in egg dump it in the breadcrumbs cook it in the oven and then potatoes that i did cut myself as well so i've got here tracked i don't know if this is a true amount because obviously i made this for me and my girlfriend as well but i've got down around 600 grams of chicken i cut up one kg so i'd say i probably had 600 which sounds like a lot it is a lot but for one meal this calorie i was stuffed i was stuffed that's why i put the emphasis on the whole foods obviously the breadcrumbs on whole foods but the majority of the meal and the calories are if i had chicken strips that are fried or whatever or the manufactured ones that you buy in the shops and stuff right i'd probably be hungry after eating this but 600 grams of actual chicky breast man I, I was stuffed i was absolutely stuffed so i had that as a big meal which was 1400 calories around 14 and a half hundred calories amazing taste amazing that fresh as well you don't feel like poo poo afterwards and then i did have some oreos as well i had some oreo gingerbread oreos they're the seasonal ones for christmas and i had four only four oreos yes it might sound crazy how on earth can you only have four oreos i used to think that way before this uh before i started the channel and have had since march right i used to think how can i only have something of it i want to pack I, I can't open it have the pack well i think one of the things that helped me and especially why this protocol that i'm following now and have i even mentioned it i eat a maintenance three thousand calories for two days and then a steep deficit for five it means i know i can have stuff for me one of the issues was going i can't have this stuff again i can't have it for this long so i'm gonna have to eat it all now to get it out of my system what, what did that happen? That just got me in cycles of starting and stopping, rationalizing, binging, and going, all right, we've only done two days. Let's just get it all out the way again. You, have, you didn't have this, so let's just get that out of the way. You've only done two days, and then we'll get started, and we'll have an amazing whatever success. A week passes, the same things. Oh, well, you haven't had this, and you're never going to be able to have it again, or you can't have it for a few months. So just have it now. You've only just got going again, and you'll get started. Right? That vicious, vicious cycle. So the mental break is... I know I can have Oreos again if I want them in only five days. I can have these again. So I don't have that. I'm not eating that almost like scarcity mindset where it's like, I can't have it again. Got to have it. I know I can have it if I want it. So I eat it for what it's worth, enjoy it and can move on. And yes, I had some more cake today as well, which I haven't got tracked because I didn't make it. Don't know what the calories are. But normally in the shop, you get like the wedge like that. I don't know if you can even see like a decent wedge is probably around 400 calories, depending on the cake. Could be more, could even be up to 700 if it's really, really loaded with stuff. But I say around 400 calories. So in total, I did have two different slices of cake. There was probably less than them together. It's probably less than that, but I'll give myself 400 calories on that. Maybe even 500 just to round up, just to make sure, which is obviously below the 3000 because I'm only just over 2000. So haven't hit in that regard but we've only just got started with this and it was more that mental break so i'm very very happy with all, all of this exercise discipline still got the protein and everything in feeling good but yeah it's that mental thing and i feel pumped for more carbs now i was slowly reintroducing the carbohydrates now obviously i've had more of them with cake and even uh, 400 grams of potato right filled up again so the scale's likely going to be up tomorrow because i've eaten later too so that is what it is accept it doesn't really matter and i'm really sorry people you're gonna have to bear with me i know this might all sound a bit confusing to start with especially because i've just got started and it was kind of spur of the moment so the plan going forward is then the next five days we will see that scale weight drop in theory we should have a new low weigh in this week new low weigh in so we might see a, a quick drop um after the first day just because we might have that bit higher weight and then eating less food in a steep deficit thousand calorie deficit uh, two thousand calories a day see that sharp drop then it might steadily go down but in theory we should hit a lower weigh and then we have the lowest weigh in on the channel and then right before the maintenance days again the two days where i eat 3000 calories it will 
obviously it will be at the lowest and then it's going to go up because more food whatever different types of food maybe some some of the treatier things um still emphasis on protein at least high protein and then obviously whole food as much as possible then should pull off again throughout the week low weigh-in likely go up over the weekend due to more food low weigh-in as the week goes on so hopefully that makes sense i know it all sounds a bit confusing right now it is quite simple i'm probably overcomplicating it and how i'm trying to get it across it's easier to show you uh, as the weeks go on you'll see what i'm talking about and we'll see the results together it's going to be amazing looking forward to it it's not going to be easy there's going to be days where it's going to suck especially only eating 2000 calories when i'm a big dog and i need more than that but i know i only have to do it for a few days and then i can have a couple of maintenance days so i'm going to run that probably for three weeks maybe three four weeks and then i will have a full week at maintenance to recover after being in that deep deficit for three to four weeks so i'm looking at looking at it in phases i'm not worrying about oh i gotta lose 100 pounds just focus on losing 100 pounds no just gotta win the day to start with with my list yeah still doing that every single day focusing on winning the day and then even just getting through the five days get to enjoy more food five days more food to me so that's my focus not and pulling off the weight in chunks rather than going 100 pounds 100 pounds 100 pounds looking too far down you get discouraged it's hard now i've only short-term focus put in the work we'll see the results of compounds over time and we'll get to that 100 pounds hopefully that will make sense i've probably rambled on way too long sorry bear with me rock with me it's going to make more sense as we get into it as the days go on and you'll start seeing the results and how it all works it's going to be awesome so i'll see you then people thank you as always and good luck keep on your grinds as well because i know we're all here together putting in that work and that's what it's about so i'll see you tomorrow for the diet day again